Okay, and I noticed that you're talking about the mural's beautiful and Blair's ideas are not. And on the back, you have something about diversity. Is that correct? No, I said okay. yeah. Great statement. So, so um, Thank you. one of the things I'm curious about, did you actually hear Steve Blair's radio show? Oh gosh, no, I wouldn't, I don't, no, I read about it in the paper yesterday. So, but you didn't hear it for yourself? No, I didn't. So, are you sure you know what you're criticizing? Are you sure you know it's accurate? Um, I have former experience with some of Blair's ideas with city council in the past, and I uh, have heard uh, his ideas, and I've disapproved of, of many of them. This one is, I think, has been the most outrageous. Okay, thank you. Anybody else want to make comments? I'd love to make a comment. Okay, there we go. This is, this, is a, this is a great deal about what has happened as a result of the mural. Uh huh. That it has exposed a seam of racism in the town that many of us who've lived here for decades are no longer willing to tolerate. Mm -hmm. now, and we're here today to make sure that people understand that many people in Prescott, including everybody driving by honking, is no longer going to tolerate overt racism that hurts children. And people of color, and people of multiracial color, and anyone in our town that doesn't feel welcome because of those kinds of comments. So did you hear Steve Blair's comments for yourself? I read the text of Steve Blair's comments, which are available. And where did you read that text? They're on the, they're on the internet. Woo! The whole text, or just... And I heard your interview yeah, with him today, interview. Yeah. but you didn't ask him any tough questions. Well, at all. I'm not there yet because I've yeah. got a lot of other yeah, articles to no go with it. No tough questions for Blair whatsoever. So, um, hi, Lauren. Chris Reynolds. Hi, Lauren. My wife Sue. We're doing great. Anyway, um, so I mean, was the whole transcript online already? Because I haven't seen that. If it of is. Your interview? No, no, no. Of um, what Steve said. I okay. have no idea for the you whole know, it transcript. Only takes one declarative sentence. And his uh -huh. declarative sentence spoke, you know, you. it was like an epistle to me. I raised multiracial children in this district. My daughter was born in this district, in this town. So I know from whence I come. The racism is deeply seen here. Very deeply seen. Um, so, one other question for you guys, and that is, diversity is important. What about diversity of ideas? Is that important? You bet. Yeah, of course. You, but you, don't, you don't hurt children. You certainly don't go hurting children and, and taking children's self-esteem and stepping on them and rushing them to the ground by liking the color of their skin. I'm a girl. What does that say? Can I rub off your skin, little girl or little boy? Come over here. Now, is it your understanding that Steve Blair asked to have this color? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Um, what would you say if I told you that's inaccurate? I would say that I don't believe that. Oh, I've checked with Kevin Cap and I've checked, you know. Steve Blair never asked for that skin to be light, ever. That was a school decision. Well, you know what? Then Kevin Cap needs to speak up and say that if that's true. Then Kevin Cap needs to stand up and say that. He will. I don't see him saying it. Well, he just did to me over there. Who do you work for? I work for Prescott e News. So, anyway. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, and your name, please? My name is Mary Nani. Okay. And I have history in Prescott from 1904. And I'm fourth generation out of Phoenix. And I brought my son here when he was one and a half in 1986. And he has a black father. And I was criticized in this community. And I cannot believe that we still have so many closed-minded people. There you go. Thank you. So, um, was this an organized event? No, this was just something that was spread through the internet and inviting people to, to show up and today at between 10 and 12, I believe. This, you know, they're calling it an organic uh, uh, rally. It's not really a protest, it's a rally. Sorry. It, it's not really a, a protest, it's a rally in support of, of the art and the diversity that this mural represents. In addition to alternative transportation and, and green uh, celebrating our nature, you know. So, so um, a couple questions. Yeah, you have another mural you're dedicating tonight. Yeah, we, we worked in conjunction with the mural mice to do uh, a restroom.
mural at Acker Park to celebrate the uh, the park, the Mr. Acker, and the and the friends of Acker who um, you know who have been involved in making that park a reality. And now, um, has the city helped with funds for these two murals? Um, I don't know, I don't know the specifics about this one, but the city has contributed no money, but they have contributed uh, support through the Parks Department. Okay. And um, do, you, do you have some concerns about tonight's event? Um, no, I'm hoping that, that it'll be taken for what it is, which is a celebration of the park and the people that made it possible 15 years ago when we voted for it. And you were talking about diversity. Um, does diversity mean just skin color, or does it mean ideas and conversations and opinions too? It's all about acceptance of, of everything. It's, 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 so if it's, somebody says something you don't agree with, you think they have the right to do that? Well, I think the, the First Amendment gives us that right, but it also comes with responsibilities and repercussions when we say things. And I think that's the lesson we're, we're seeing here today is you can say things, but they have repercussions. And finally, was it, is it your understanding that Steve Blair asked to have the faces lightened? Um, I, my uh, reading of the newspaper is that it was came from the, the uh, committee and through the school. Okay. Um, but I, you know, I, I'm sure it, it, this whole thing started with Steve Blair, and and that's why I'm saying, you know, he can say what he says, but um, you know, there, there's consequences. Okay. And, and, and I'm not trying to censor him. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Lynn.